I'm not the biggest fan of vampire films. Ever since I watched Little Vampire as a child and was absolutely terrified of it, I kind of avoided them and I bypassed the entire Twilight phase. But sometimes I'll be in the mood for one. And I have to say that 2011 Fright Night is very good. It's also worth pointing out that I have seen the original. I did like it. I can't really compare them because I think they're both pretty good in their own ways. This one was released, as I said, in 2011, directed by Craig Gillespie and written by Marty Noxon, and stars Anton Yelchin, Colin Farrell, and the fabulous David Tennant, as well as Tony Collette. And I expect David Tennant was the reason that I wanted to watch this, but there are so many other reasons to stick around. The description from... IMDb is pretty straightforward. There won't be any spoilers in this. And this is as follows. When a nice new neighbour moves in next door, Charlie discovers that it is an ancient vampire who preys on the community. Can he save his neighbourhood from the creature with the help of the famous vampire killer, Peter Vincent? Peter Vincent here is played by David Tennant and I think he's fantastic. The charisma in that character is incredible. He's so well developed. And Charlie is a character I, you know, I really like. I think he works very well as a protagonist. I think Anton Yelchin could have gone on to do such amazing things, you know, had he he not sadly passed away when he was 27, which is just not a great age. But this film is certainly one that's, worth celebrating and it's very well put together the narrative is very well developed I think we get introduced to our mysterious vampire character uh, at a really good pace Uh, the vampire is of course played by Colin Farrell and we learn things about him quite slowly and we begin to piece things together and you can kind of understand why Charlie begins to think he is a vampire and it, it obviously gives us that moment to think, well, maybe he might not be. Maybe maybe it could just be a coincidence that X or Y is happening. But obviously, if you're watching this film, you kind of know what you're getting yourself in for. And I think it progresses very well. I think the atmosphere is great. It's quite dark uh, in terms of the colour palette and um, the lighting. But at the same time, particularly when we get... Peter Vincent it it seems a little bit brighter and more entertaining and I wouldn't at any point say it's a comedy as such it is a comedy horror in terms of marketing but I would say it's more horror than it is comedy but I do think that it has the balance of light and dark pretty spot on it's also quite different to a lot of vampire films in the sense that it's not all about you know capes and bats and I want to suck your blood, you know, I I like that with Hammer Horror, but not so much with contemporary vampire films. Obviously, this is the same for the original Fright Night as well. I think they're both very good in different ways and also very good in some of the same ways. But I would definitely recommend this one. If, like me, you're not the biggest vampire film, I think you'll still enjoy it a lot. There is a lot that you can get out of this. And I would happily watch it again. As I said, I really like the original. I actually think that this is a really good remake. It's rare that a remake is pretty decent, but actually because this is, you know, it's very well put together, very well produced, absolutely brilliant. It is worthy of the remake and I enjoy it, not just because David Tennant's in it. In fact, even if Tennant wasn't in it, like some of my favourite scenes don't involve his character at all. And that, to me, shows me that this is a good film. Because there are many films that I've watched just because Tennant's in it, and I liked his film, his scenes, none of the rest. Not the case here. The 2011 Fright Night remake is a lot better than I expected for a remake. And I would say watch the original first. It's just, I think it just makes more sense to watch the original so you can then see the source material they were using for this film. But either way, I do think you will enjoy it.